Know ye not that ye are gods, that I am wonderfully and fearfully made, the intricately made. We need to understand and carry this knowledge with us everywhere we go, that we are not just God carriers or embodiment of God, housing the God's person, but its entirety, the powers that he had, he has embodied in us. That's why he was so bold to say that all you need for life and godliness has been given to you. Meaning that everything it is that we need to do life is within us. So if we are looking for how to move forward, how to go higher, how to achieve, how to attain, how to prosper, how to become a success, it's right there within us. It has been planted in us. And it says, greater works than these shall we do. What? Meaning that everything that God is, he has placed in us. We have same creative power. God just thought it and he said, let there be and there was. Same thing, same power he has placed in every one of us to be able to do same. All we need, everything we need for life and godliness. So it is necessary that we all learn to begin to look within us and not without us, meaning outside of us. When something happens, it's easy for us to run to say, oh, where do I go? Why do this happen to me? Oh, what type of life is this? And by the time we begin to do that, we remain in this downward spiral that is not productive to us. We begin to pity ourselves and feel as though God is so far away from us. But instead, when things like that begins to happen, you want to look inward you and find the thing that is within you that speaks to that that is happening without you. Because the answer you need is within you. So you shut it all out. Shut the world, everything that it has out. And you focus within. And then you begin to ask empowering questions. Not questions that keep pulling us down. But you ask empowering questions. Questions like, Father, what's the situation birthing in me? What is the situation trying to teach me or trying to bring forth in me? You know why? <laughs> because all things work together for our good. It is happening for us. And some people will say, yeah, but my situation seems to be so bad. True, unfortunately. But it is birthing. It is fashioning something beautiful. And the moment we are able to change our perspective, we begin to create something different. But we keep creating the same negativity. We keep creating the same sad story over and over again because we keep focusing on the seemingly sad situation that has happened to us. Seemingly because all things work for our good. We are the ones that give it a title, saying this is bad. Oh, this bad thing happened to this person. Who told you that 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 happened to that person is not happening for the person's good? Who told you? Who is the judge of something happening to somebody else and terming it as good or bad? Say, yeah, but she lost her husband. Who told you that it is not for her good? But he lost his job. Who told you that it is not for the person's good? So all things work for our good. But when it is happening, those times might be difficult and seemingly trying. But the best and fastest way to come out of it or to change our perspective from it is to ask empowering questions. Don't feel sorry for yourself and throw a pity party. Oh, why did this happen? Why did this happen? You begin to find excuses that will make us remain in that same dark hole. Because our perspective wouldn't change. We keep trying to point and blame people, blame situations, blame the community, blame the country, blame persons for the things happening in our lives. Meanwhile, all we need for life and godliness is right within us. And once things like that begin to happen, you find out 
that you begin to create life, different kind of life, because we are creators. Same way God says, let there be light. We are creating our realities by the different thoughts that we are having and by the several actions that we keep taking. But when your perspective change, your thoughts change, <laughs> the actions you begin to take changes. And then you are beginning to change your reality. And then you're birthing the life that you so desire. <laughs>